Hello, welcome to another video. Uh, today's video on the cards for us today is the patch notes for Pokemon Unite that are coming out tomorrow, which is going to be the 18th of August. Uh, alongside this, Charlie, are you alright? You want to come up? Hold on. There you go. So, Blissey has been released tomorrow on August 18th. I'm a little bit sad that it's not going to be Blastoise, but at the same time, we now have an actual healing support in the game, which is super cool. Uh, so Eldegoss kind of makes sense that she maybe got nerfed before this came out. But Blissey also, I've seen some of her moves set already. Gonna be uh, a lot of healing. Very tanky. Basically just healing Wigglytuff. Alright, bye Charlie. So, the patch notes for Pokemon Unite are notoriously bad. Uh, the Japanese ones are worse, but they give more information. And then the English ones, you can read them, but also they are very vague. So I have, we've combined the two... And I'll be running down the changes and then anything specific that needs changed, I can explain it to you a little bit better. I've got both up here so that I can actually like have a look and see what is being changed one way or the other. Um, so the updates uh, for the client, shop update, text fixes, bug fixes. There is no elaboration on that unfortunately, but it, it doesn't really matter all that much regardless. It's not like when I got a notification on my Switch that said uh, they fixed a bug and the bug was Gengar's Hex, which... I mean, makes sense. <clears throat> so, Crustle. Cooldown's been reduced. Damage dealt to the opposing Pokemon has been increased as well on Stealth Rock. Not really like one of the favorite moves I like to run on Crustle, but it's solid AoE ability, solid AoE damage. Uh, Rock Tomb. Damage dealt to the opposing Pokemon has been increased as well. I can't remember if Rock Tomb is the damage increased. Ah, right, yeah, 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 it's Rock Slide that you, there's the one, okay, yeah, Rock Tomb is the one where you create a barrier. Um, I didn't realize that it actually did damage, but it does make sense that it would do damage, because otherwise, like, Crustle probably can't actually do that much damage. Garchomp has had his movement speed increased, uh, he's had the damage on his Bulldoze increased, and the cooldown of Dragon Rush reduced. Slowbro has Surf, the CC of the Surf, like, the CC duration of the Surf when it hits you three times has been reduced. Um, his Scald has had a damage increase and it fixed a bug where the Oblivious passive wasn't proccing from the steam damage. So like, Snorlax's passive, uh, not sorry, uh, Slowbro's passive where he like heals up the blue health wasn't proccing on steam damage. Uh, Snorlax is getting destroyed by the way. So Heavy Slam has had its damage decreased. Block duration has been decreased. Flail got buffed. Let's be real. Flail has had its effect increased, which I guess... It might mean that it scales better at low HP, or it uh, lasts for longer, which would be great. If it lasted longer, that would be perfect. That being said, uh, on neither the Japanese nor the English does it actually say <laughs> what it does. But still, kind of big nerfs to, like, the usual uh, Stormax build. Although, Flail Yawn looking kind of good right now, for sure. As well as that, the HP restoration on his uh, Unite move has been gutted. That being said, like, uh... Yeah, that's going to hurt, for sure. I, I am a big fan of that ultimate. It doesn't do much damage. It's, it's about bringing you back up to full HP. But when you're allowed to bring yourself back up to full HP, when you're running flail, and then you're slamming people around, and you're punching people in the face, yeah, maybe that's maybe not so healthy. <laughs> Still. Greninja uh, has had his smoke uh, screen. It says move downgrade. But it's actually had the effect has been weakened. Uh, I wonder if that's the vision debuff. It might be the vision debuff. It might be this, the duration of your stealth. But regardless, it's also had the cooldown extended as well. I think that like smoke screens in this game are actually like kind of... Um, I don't know if broken or overpowered is the right word. But Gabite, when he uses sand attack. And Greninja, when he uses smoke screen, are... Devastating abilities when I'm inside them. I, I, it's like Graves in League of Legends. Like I just cannot get my head around them, and I, I really don't like them all that much. Uh, Wigglytuff has had a uh, bug fix for her uh, ultimate. I think this was where uh, I believe this is the one where there was bug in, in the last patch where if she was uh, taking out wild Pokemon, it would not increase her Unite gauge. So I think they've bug fixed it now so that she can actually gain some unite move like if you're going for a zapdos and she doesn't want to fight actual pokemon she can take out some wild now which she could not do before and uh, cinderace is at a, a a bug fix where having a boosted attack ready would increase her movement speed which seems like a bit of a nerf if you ask me <laughs> a 
Hello and Ninetales got a bug fix on Snow Warning as well, which is actually really, really big. I, I hated this about it, and it's have had it happen to me. It was where her passive would proc on a, on a, on a Pokemon. That, like, let's say you pulled a, a, a Pokemon into a bush. Even if, like, Ninetales couldn't see you or the Pokemon, it would still proc on the Pokemon if you're, if you're, if you're like, taking out an Arduino in, in a bush somewhere nearby. It would proc on the bush, and it would give you away. Uh, but now, if, if Ninetales cannot see the the Pokemon that it's affecting, or it's going to affect, it will not go out now, which is actually really good. Especially if you're just taking a sneaky little Pokemon in the bush, it's very good. Aurora Veil also had a bug fix where uh, your passive would proc more often inside the Veil. So actually, some nerfs coming out to Alone Ninetales. She is like, so strong though. Like, so I can 100%. I can see the reasoning for sure on that one, absolutely. Um, for Gardevoir, we had a, a basic attack bug fix where the boosted attack would not war special defense, which it's supposed to do. Psychic also now wars enemy special defense when it's hit. So some more some more reasons to pick Psychic, I suppose. Uh, I think most people go for like Moonblast because it stuns as opposed to Psychic, which is like a, a slow. So I guess like, you could argue that maybe it's worth going for Psychic now because even though you're not going to be able to stun them and get a Psy Shock down easier or Future Sight down easier, it will do more damage if you can hit it. And I tried the Future Sight build and like honestly, like it, it, it does do a lot of damage and the cooldown does get reduced really heavily. So I think like maybe people should look into that. Next up is uh, our favorite Pokemon, Woo! On the, on the Japanese it's called Woo. So Hurricane had a bug fix where some wild Pokemon wouldn't take damage. That's just been fixed up. And then as far as it goes, we got wild Pokemon Avalug as well. Has had its HP decreased. Defense and special defense buff from iron defense decreased as well. Nothing major, just like a, like a bit of a nerf to like a wild Pokemon. I think it's like I think it's in like one of the, the quick modes as well. Uh as well as that, some of the uh, battle items have actually been adjusted as well which i don't think we've had happen in the game so far since it was released so eject button has had its cooldown increased like don't listen to this it says stats decreased stat increased stat increased stat increased this means cooldown for, for, for just just as a as a pointer here so eject button has had its cooldown um increased so flash is now on a higher cooldown which makes a lot of sense it was there is basically very little reason to run anything else it is uh a tough one for sure it's a tough one for sure goal getter as well the one that lets you score goals a bit faster or like twice as fast as that it's cooldown decreased which actually might lead into one of the videos i'm planning uh, which is very nice so i might wait until the patch comes out before i try and do it um fluffy tail also had its effect increased so i would assume that the effect on one pokemon is much higher now or it lasts for much longer x attack also had its um stats increased doesn't see how much but also very interesting very spicy i would love to see some of the more like buffing items in the game be valuable enough wherein it's worth taking them over eject button and maybe we're moving towards the correct direction for that to happen if we increase the eject button cooldown and uh, in increase the amount of stats that you get from x attack maybe like cinderace will want to run an x attack instead of just having the flash because it's much more consistently useful um as well as that um there's one that's not listed on here but it is that after respawning pokemon are now immune to enemy attacks for a brief period of time so i am sorry friends i'm so sorry that you're not going to be able to spawn camp people in the base as easy as you could i'm so sorry <laughs> to tell you <laughs> i'm afraid to be the bearer of bad news that pushing children into base and camping them and taking them out there is not a viable situation. I mean, it might still be. If they're like six levels below you, you could still probably do it. But they're trying to make it harder for people to take out people when they're standing in their base, which is possible. If they go onto like the little platform, you can still smack them. So yeah, that's the patch notes. Uh, on top of that, we obviously, we have Blissey coming out tomorrow, which I'll do a video on, so expect that. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, these don't seem nearly as, uh, as brutal, uh, as far as patch notes go, I mean, we have to see the numbers realistically, but that's kind of big, like, the duration of the CC from Slowbro being, like, reduced, 
Depends how heavily it is being reduced, but that's kind of that could be kind of brutal for Slowbro as well as that Snorlax as well is getting kind of domed. Uh, honestly, I don't feel like defenders are that popular in the game. Like, I don't really see people insta-lock defenders at all. And I feel kind of bad because I'm like, I really feel like you should... If somebody's going to play defender, like, it's okay to have them be, like, a little bit maybe overtuned because it incentivizes people to actually play them and, like, ranked and then actually, like, help their team. As opposed to just, like, locking in Greninja, Cinderace, Pikachu, Venusaur, Charizard. Oh, cool. We have a, a terrible team. <laughs> But I like the Alolan Ninetales uh, bug fixes. Uh, but yeah, Snorlax got kind of domed. Although my build is looking pretty good right now. I will say. I will admit. Uh, beyond that, it's all just bug fixes and stuff like that. Nothing too crazy. But yeah, expect a Blissey video tomorrow. Uh, we'll give it a try. And then we have like a Secret Tech Russell video, I think, coming out the day after. But I'm going to wait until the patch hits at midnight or whenever after. Because um, I think Gold Getter would be a real... The Gold Getter buffs would make this really, really good. Based on the idea that I got sent. I got more PDS for you. But it's I, I think I should just wait and let the buff set to Gold Getter. And the, the, the nerf set to eject button. Because I think it would just make more sense in my head. But yeah, thanks so much for watching this video. We're gonna have plenty. We're gonna have another League of Legends video for you later on today. So I hope you enjoy that. If you're into the League of Legends stuff, and if you are into the Pokemon stuff, I'll see you tomorrow. Hope you uh, are maybe because I'll be honest. I don't, I don't need to make these videos, but this is terrible, right? Like these are awful. I've just collated like three different, four different sources on information here, and I'm just bringing it into one space so you actually can understand what's changed in the game. And I hope you appreciate that. But back with more gameplay and more fun stuff uh, tomorrow. I'll see you later. Have a fantastic day. Please subscribe if you're new. And give the video a cheeky like. Have a good one.